Libra, hi, welcome to your read for December 2021. We're going to be looking at the energies with the tarot. And um, these are general reads, so take what resonates and leave the rest for everybody else. Um, if you'd like a personal read that resonates with you, Libra, be sure um, to check out my Instagram and send me a direct message there. Request a, a message from me and I will send you back the details you need for a personal read. We can do your tarot with astrology. We can do your birth chart. Um, however you like it. Your way right away. Mm. Why did I use a Burger King slogan? I have no idea. Maybe Libra this month you're trying to get everything your way right away. <laughs> let's see here. Libra. Let's see what's going on with the lovely Libra. For the month of December but yeah, I strongly recommend the birth chart first because then that gives you a better view of what's going on for you, Libra. And then after that, you always have your birth chart with tarot so then you can get an accurate message of what's going on with you. Because otherwise, you just get stuck in YouTube world listening to other people's readings or readings that don't resonate or readings that you think are yours and has nothing to do with your situation. Uh, YouTube tarot does work though. You just gotta know when it's healthy, when it's not. King of Wands here in your general energy. Very cool. I like that. I'm a Leo. I feel you. King of Wands in the general energy here. There's a lot you have in plan for your kingdom. And you're not trying to force people to be there with you at this time. You're trying to see who's going to sit there with you. And you have a checklist about your your. Whatever this could be resonating to you about, mind you, it can be career, a friend, or whatever you want it to resonate. I just happen to stick to the love thing, right? I'm a Leo. Hmm. But yeah, let's see here. With this King of Wands, it's also kind of like um, flexible at the same time. They're also kind of like immune from something hurting them. So your general energy is very strong this December. And... You're being challenged to drop something. Um, you don't want to cause some conflicts or maybe there's something here about causing some sort of conflict. Um, this is starting to sound kind of like Virgo's read. Eight of Cups. In the past, you walked away from something. Your strength is you're able to heal out things. You're able to heal things out with people. Uh, Knight of Cups. And I did say this is sounding like the Virgo's read, so you might be dealing with a Virgo because they got this devil card in their general energy. So take that as it resonates. Some of you might like that whole stuff or go listen to Virgo's read. That might resonate with you as well. Um, especially if you have Virgo like Saturn because I did a Virgo and Saturn talk with them about hands, anything they do there. Okay, off topic. Anyways, you're being challenged to drop something here. Something that you've been carrying for a long time. What have you been carrying for a long time? You've been carrying the idea that somebody's going to come back. Somebody's going to heal something out with you. Or that you're stuck in some sort of relationship that's not working out. Um, why you're here is because you want to know if you're going to cause a conflict here um, with this situation. Um, so we'll try to find out for you if you're going to create some sort of conflict here. In the past, so this is a lesson here in your read from yourself. So what your higher self wants you to know is that you walked away from these cups that were filled with poison in the past. Okay, this could have been a year ago, whatever, right? This is just past stuff. It's not now. Or it could have been recent past as well. But you walked away from something. Now, 
your strength is you're able to heal things. So, but not everybody, every time you try to heal things with people, like, will they take that cup from you? That just depends, right? And also, I always get Leo vibes with this card, right? And you may have been dealing with a Leo. Um, Knight of Cups here is supporting the whole read, meaning you should move forward and not look back. Move forward with persistence. So whatever you do here, is it going to create a conflict? Um, I can't tell you that. Honestly, I can't. It's going to be different for everybody. For some of you, yes. For some of you, no. Is it going to create a conflict? Honestly, it doesn't matter. The universe is pushing you to move forward, whether it creates a conflict or not. Um, for some of you, it's going to create some power here. It's going to show you what power really is for the month of December. Um, what the universe wants you to know is that You've been healing for a while and it's time for you to come out of this tomb, come out of that grave and do what you're supposed to do, which is moving forward. Um, your suggested approach is Queen of Pentacles. Before you move forward, hmm, before you move forward, make sure all your systems are in check here your physical world, your money world. Some of you already know that. Some of you are here at this read because you want to find out if you move on from something, but you're just not financially ready for that or you're just not ready to support yourself in some sort of way. I think the Queen of Pentacles is here to kind of support you and this might be a spirit guide of yours as well, trying to support your read here, saying that you need to take care of yourself and establish an ecology before you leave something here again. Now... Wheel of Fortune is in your hopes and fears. In your fears here, you're scared of change. You want to resist this change because it's scary. But in your hopes, you want change because you want to you want to simply move into something that feels free-flowing and really good. And you have the devil there supporting you at the end of the read, which I'm getting positive vibes from him now that I get to the end here. It's you wanting to live your life here. Some of you might feel stuck in something, or if the person is displaying toxic traits, you're wanting to drop it. Yeah, that's how I see it for you in the month of December. I see you trying to break these chains in the month of December, and I think it's just starting you. It's starting that transition of breaking the chains, and I think it's going to be a slow change. We may not see that change till maybe February here. February, March, April-ish. You may not see that change. So I think you want to just kind of prepare for that change, right? So like if you're, you know, if you're being supported by your your wife or your husband here, um, you got to figure out a way before then to kind of support yourself to move forward. Or maybe it's moving back in with parental units that can take care of you here. So some of you got to figure that out, how that's going to play out for spring of next year. Um, and with this Capricorn card, I feel like in Capricorn season, you still might be attached to something here. And is that a bad thing? No, because your strength is healing. So you are going to try to heal things here. And, you know, I think that kind of brings peace to the situation as well as when you're ready to leave something here, um, you're not causing some sort of conflict for yourself. Yeah. Sorry, I'm going to sip here. I need some energy. This is kind of scary. If this resonates with you. Because you really don't have this strength to cause any kind of conflict. You're a sweet Libra, right? You're possibly attached to the person you're with now and thinking that that's what's good for you and I'm going to stick with this person no matter what. Okay, I see you. But the problem is, is the underlying situation is if it's, if it's not giving you the ultimate result, the ultimate beauty or making you feel good or, and it's not coming from a space where you know it's working, 
and you just feel chained to a situation or you feel like dropping things from time to time, eventually these wands get really heavy. And that's why I'm saying this isn't going to happen till around springtime. You're the first sign I get here today that I'm telling you whatever your thing for December is, isn't happening till springtime. What happens in springtime? Well, around February, the nodes shift in 2022. So in springtime, you're getting a time prediction. Uh, Libra is the only one getting a time prediction so far. Um, when I get to the other signs, they might not or may may. You guys are getting a time prediction. There's something you're going to drop when the nodes shift. Or it's going to be this king of wands that drops you. I'm sorry to put it that way. But if you're already getting hints, and you'll know what those hints are, there's going to be a drop here. Somebody's going to get dropped. And I feel it's you, though. you doing the dropping because you, you're getting that. And you're getting these early warnings to prepare for something, a change, a move, something. Because something is not feeling right in paradise here, Libra. And I'm sorry to put it that way, but that's how I'm seeing it. And um, the good thing is, though, the good thing is you're going to be able to live your life and you're going to be able to find something else to get chained to. I'm just kidding. No, no. <laughs> you're going to find something else to, you know, oh, maybe you're into that kinky stuff and like getting chained, okay? But um, you're going to find something else that's a lot better for you. Somebody that's going to give you the equal give and take, okay? Let's pull you a spirit animal card and i'm sorry because that's not what i'm trying to do inspire any anxiety here about stuff failing or anything like that like i said take how this resonates it could be a job change it could be a friendship that you drop that you know it's not right if your relationship is doing good at this time it's not going to fail no your relationship is doing good that's going to stick together okay i'm not trying to inspire any like fear anxiety that's not me that's not the way i do tarot Okay, I do tell you how it is though. So if you are having hints that, oh God, I, this is, this sucks. That's your hint that, yeah, you're going to probably drop this around springtime. Okay. And I'm trying to give you the message so that you can prepare so that you're not stuck to something because of a financial situation or a living situation. I'm just trying to give you that bit of divinity here. You're getting a time prediction. When the nodes shift, there will be a change. Okay? For the Libra. Oh, isn't that funny? Because it's going to be Aries Libra, right? Yeah, the nodes are shifting for Aries and it's going to be an Aries and Libra. Because the nodes are the only thing that move backwards in the chart. So it's going to be in Aries and Libra. The nodes are shifting. And when they shift there, Libra is the owner of the seventh house, the relationship. And Aries, yourself. And Aries doesn't like being chained. You like being seen. This one came out, but I feel like I got to draw another one, okay? So this one came out, I, I'm not going to put it back. Now is a lucky time. I'm only going to say it's a lucky time because you're getting this advance notice that you need to prepare for something here, okay? So now is a lucky time. And the reason I didn't put it back in is because I, this Queen of Pentacles, I said, is your spirit guide. And she's got the rabbit here. Well, not in this card, not in this art, but in the other art, she has the rabbit. Does she have a rabbit here? Yeah, there is a rabbit there. Okay, there's a rabbit down here. This is the 1909 tarot, by the way. And you have the rabbit here saying, now is a lucky time. And I feel like it's your spirit guides calling to you to this video to try to tell you to prepare for this in spring. There's going to be some sort of change. The Queen of Pentacles, she's mutable, isn't she? I'm going to pull another oracle, animal oracle. You're going to be the only sign. Don't tell the other signs you got two oracle cards, okay? Skunk spirit, know your worth. 
So yeah, if you're stuck in something right now and you're getting hints that you're not being given anything back, and they just keep taking, 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 know your worth. That stinks. Although this is the animal spirit, let's not disrespect it, right? The skunk spirit. Know your worth and know that now's a lucky time. You're getting divine inspiration to change something and do it slowly, okay? And you do have a spirit guide watching over you now. Anyone watching this video, you do have spirit guides and they guided you here. And I don't know why I'm saying stuff like this. I normally don't do hoobu-jubu type videos like this. But I feel there is a Libra here that there is going to be some sort of significant change you need to prepare for now. I'm very curious how that's going to play out. Leave in the comments if this resonates with you. Or come back in spring to this video. Save it to your videos and if it comes true, there was a shift, you know, let me know. Let's do it for science. Let's see if this stuff does work. Uh, I know tarot did work for me. and so Especially YouTube tarot. But it's just hard to kind of figure out what story is what like I said the personal reads are the ones that resonate every time not this YouTube stuff but um, just this is gonna be a very specific read possibly for the month of December but just take it how it resonates right all right Libra so that's enough I will see you guys again next time bye Libra